Hello everyone, it's Shivan K here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be helping my friend wash her hair and to also go with her to the salon to get this beautiful new hairstyle. So if you're interested in this video, please keep on watching. So now we are going to start off by washing her hair. We are going to wash and condition and treat her hair. So she's had this twist for about two months now and she's really tired of it she wants to do a new hairstyle so i was like she was actually the one who reminded me that we can wash the hair like this and then unravel the twists later after washing it it would be easier and she was actually right so we washed and conditioned the hair with the twists in and this saved us a lot of time because remember we would have unraveled the twist that would have taken a lot of time they would have been matted then detangling the hair with the conditioner then going in with it it would have been a long process but this made it really easy washing the hair with a twist scene and then taking them down afterwards with the hair soft and moisturized from the conditioner and yeah this is what we are doing right now um please forgive me for the lighting it was really terrible i couldn't move with my ring light i was at her home and we didn't have anywhere else to do this from with a uh, nice lighting we actually had to do the whole entire video from her home but the lighting could not let us so we ended up going to the salon it was very late and we hadn't made an appointment so we had to look for a local salon in the area where we went and did her hair for the rest of the time so anyways what i did right there is apply conditioner into her hair and there i'm going to be unraveling the twists so i shampooed the hair applied the conditioner and i'm going to be using that conditioner to help me slip the twists unraveled and yeah i didn't record the whole process because you know the lighting was bad and this is how the hair looks and i'm going to be washing out the conditioner you can't see the conditioner right now because we let it sit for about 40 minutes 30 minutes or so so that the hair can become soft the twist had her hair was so dry for some reason so we decided to leave the conditioner to sit for a while before we washed it out and this is me washing it out and again we try to look for a place with better lighting and this is the best that we got and again we weren't happy with it so I think after washing out the hair we went straight to the salon this is how her hair is looking right after washing it and it's nice and soft. We are going to be applying this Cantu leave-in conditioner and then leave the rest for the salon lady. I don't know you guys if it's just me but I can never go to the salon to get my hair blown out. Even washing it you guys. There is a way Ugandan salon ladies pull your natural hair and you can feel it from your heart. I just cannot my friend was almost crying <laughs> but we had no choice because we couldn't like go back home it was getting dark as you can see the lighting had even got worse and it reached an extent where she couldn't take it anymore and she was like you know what just just plate it as it is I, I can't take it anymore it was too painful I could also feel for her but anyways she was loving her hair i think she's been natural for two years now one and a half two years now and i'd say her hair has grown so much this was all funny to me so the ugandan salon ladies also have a habit of using a razor blade to shape your forehead your facial hairs so i i, I don't even know i don't trust anybody with a razor blade on my face because what if they make one slight mistake on my face on my face anyways she did a great job she didn't cut her and she proceeded on to plating her hair so this was going to be a crochet so she had a way she first got two pieces of hair and she twisted them and locked them so she went on and did that for the rest of the hair around the front of her head and this is how it turned out and then she went on joining these pieces of hair into cornrows with the rest of the hair
and this is the hair that she's going to be using these are curly extensions from darling they went ahead and cut each curl into two and again went ahead and divided each curl into two so that it's nice and fluffy so that when it's crocheted on the head it creates a voluminous you know a voluminous hairstyle and this is how her hair is looking with a base done and the lady went ahead and sewed that down so that it's not bulky and so that it doesn't come unraveled and then she went ahead and started crocheting the curls into the cornrows and at this moment we were tired it felt like we were sitting in the salon for forever but thank goodness this process took like it was so fast it took about 15 to 20 minutes and it was done she was done crocheting in that short time and this is her done with crocheting the hair and now she's going to style it into a ponytail my friend had told her that she wanted it in a high ponytail with little bangs in the front and also to fluff the ponytail a little bit so that it's like nice and big and yeah so this is what she's doing right now she's securing the ponytail with a yarn and fluffing it so that it's nice and big and cutting out the extra hair so that it's nice and shaped well and I think that's about it and here you guys this is how the hair turned out it turned out so good I just feel so bad that the lighting was not great I swear to you guys the hair turned out so beautiful it fitted her face so perfectly she also loved it so much I also thought it looked so beautiful she looks so cute <laughs> and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel and to also join my membership down below and I'll catch you all on my next one, bye!